Thank you again for joining us. This is January the 24th. The positivity rate is very high right now. I am Bobby Joe Rouse, the pastor of the Pansy Missionary Baptist Church. Uh, if you've had a birthday or an anniversary this week, best wishes to you. Before we pray, let's remember the families uh, that are believe, bereaved uh, because someone passed away in their family. Let's remember those that are recovering from the from the virus, and may we all get that vaccine as soon as possible for those that want it. Uh, let's remember those uh, at home that's having problems. Let's remember our nation and also uh, the Christians that are suffering around the world for persecution. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you again for this day that you've given us, for watching over and care for us. Thank you, Lord, for what you've done for us and for being a God that we can come to, talk to, and lay our petition before, knowing that you hear each one of our requests. Thank you, God, for the many gifts that you bestow upon us each and every day. Go with us and direct us. We'll give you the praise and honor in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, I have this morning, I have a box. Just a regular cardboard box. Uh, but you can go to a store and find boxes anywhere. They are essentially used for storage. Uh, you can uh, use them to pack things up. They're especially good if you're moving or going somewhere. So you can put your things in the box uh, and organize it. You can write what you what's in the box. But don't. Try to put something bigger than the box. It wasn't a vacuum cleaner. You can't pack a vacuum cleaner in a box like this. It just won't work. So, uh, but you know something? You have to have the right size of box. You know, sometimes we try to put God in a box. Uh, God is huge. He's bigger than the than anything that you could put in that box. He's bigger than the earth. He's bigger than the sun. He's bigger than the universe that he created. He created all things. And so, don't try to use a small box to put God in. Remember, i give you a good example of that. Is if you ever try to pray for somebody that's in your family that does not know Jesus Christ as his Savior? What about a, a family? What about a community? What about a... a uh, the state, what about a nation or the whole world? Don't try to put God in a box. Know that God has no limits. He can be everywhere at any time. You can trust him with anything. If you have something big to bring to him, you can bring it to him or something small. But don't try to limit God. Uh, in what he can do. Uh, remember in 1 Corinthians 2.9, it says this, uh, No eyes has seen, no ears has heard, no mind has conceived what God has prepared for those that love him. Don't put God in a box. Pray as big as you can so you and your faith will grow and be stronger. Uh, I know the positivity rate is very high right now. So, as quick as we get started back in church, we invite you to come and be with us. Uh, also, remember, salvation is very simple. It's A, B, C. A, admit. B, believe that Jesus Christ can save you. C, confess him. And come and be with us when you can, and we really appreciate it. Uh, a place where Jesus Christ is still Lord of all. Thank you. And God bless you.